All right, uh, Brian Kilmeade just left, uh, and Heather's coming in. Good Brian, good luck flying to Dallas. That was such a quick Dallas. change. I thought there was going <laughs> to be some sort of hospital. layover over there. Out goes Brian, oh. in comes Heather. Yeah. Hello. How are you? Semi neighbor of family, right? Right. I grew up in Rockford, Illinois. Did and you, you really? are from Hananika? I went right? to Hananika for uh, high small, school. Small area. Yeah. Um, but I grew up in Roscoe. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, and Paul Ryan was on the show today. Yep. And he lives in Janesville. Yep. And he knew what high school I went to. Of course. And, um, and so he lives in, yeah, he lives in Janesville. I was born in Beloit, which is actually uh-huh. in Wisconsin. So, you know, being from Illinois, we don't, I don't claim Wisconsin because that's just the rivalry, right? Sure. <laughs> There's so, a big rivalry. And he said, like, are you a Bears fan? And I was like, of course I'm a Bears fan. <laughs> he was checking. He yeah. was checking. Yeah. I always love to have a Midwestern yeah, on the no. show. Makes me so happy. Very proud you know, of you. I had a bunch I like today. Yeah. Bunch of y'all on the, on the sofa today. And yeah, outside on the plaza, by the way, what has a lot of people taking a look is your car. Yeah. How great is this? It's, uh, it looks really good. I, I, You know, the very first year we did this a couple of years ago, and, and GoDaddy is so great because they they give up the, the paint scheme for, for breast cancer awareness. And this is, again, I think this is the third year. Um, it's uh, I wasn't sure how the colors were going to go together, but gosh, from the very beginning, they've just done such a great job of, of uh, making the car look awesome. Tell us about and, those names we're looking at right there. So um, you can go to GoDaddy.com slash donate. And if you donate over $10, you can nominate, um, you can have names put on the car. And I'm going to race that car with names all over it. And I hope there's a ton because it means there's a ton of donations at Martinsville, um, which is in a couple of weeks. Um, So that's going to be actually out there on the track with all the names on it. So um, until noon Eastern tomorrow is the is the end of that. So they can they can get the car painted up and put all the names. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put my mom's name and both of my grandmother's names and a couple of other friends that I know um, who've battled breast cancer. I'm taking a look if we could see your jumpsuit because that seemed to go well with your car. Yeah, it's uh, oh, there so I am. Cute. Oh yeah, hey, you know what? You do photo shoots and you never see the never see the photos. Well, but there, there you it are. is. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, they again. Um, not only is it a great cause, but they make it all um, appealing at the same time. So, um, GoDaddy's a, a great company, and they they give back so much. Um, they are donating fifty thousand dollars. So um, they perfect. they they keep they give so much, and um, the car is just a small piece of that. You know, and that kind of thing, putting people's names on the car, means so much to those women and their family members who are battling through that that kind of cancer or any kind of cancer. You know, it's yeah. uh, it's uh, it's one of those diseases that has, um, it brings people together. Yep. And whether it's the walks or um, whether it's just the putting someone's name on the car and being part of that, I feel like with breast cancer, there's such a community around it. Mm-hmm. And so this, I feel like the car is just an extension of that community of bringing people sure. together. Yes. You know, and advertisers spend tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars to have their names on cars like yours. And people watching right now can do it can for just 10 go do bucks. It. Yeah, yeah. I always get people joking around with me. They're like, hey, throw my sticker on. They're like, man, I couldn't afford that. (laughs) Well, you can for $10. Has it surprised you how much the sporting world has really embraced causes, particularly this one with women's cancer and breast cancer? I think it's the sport and the people involved and the companies involved recognizing the platform they have and the ability to do good things. Mm-hmm. And um, so I've, I've really felt for a long time like it's my responsibility um, to, to, to use that platform for good things instead of just going out and driving around in circles. I can do that every <laughs> weekend, but to Not just. take the time. Oh, well, thanks. Sometimes it's just, sometimes it's, uh, sometimes it is, but sometimes it's uh, more fun than that. Yeah. Um, but uh, hopefully it's more fun in a sense that my car is going to be really fast at Martinsville That's all. <laughs> and they'll be showing it on TV all the time. And maybe people will get a chance to see the name that they put on. You know what's neat that day like about you? You're doing what you can and you're using right. the gifts that you have to be able to publicize something that is important to you. Right. Well, and not every celebrity does do that. Not every athlete does that, but you do it. So right. congratulations well, well, to thank you. you. Thank really. you. We, uh, we do our best and um, forget the rest. <laughs> very, very nice. Uh, can I ask you like what may be a dumb question? Your, yeah. co- your car is the number 10 car. Correct. Do you get to pick the, the number? I actually did. Yeah, I did. Why um, did you pick 10? Uh, it was my go-kart number when I was a kid. No so, way! Right. Yeah, yeah. Is so that right? I had uh, I was I was number ten because I was ten years old when I started racing, and um, my mom was thirty four because she was thirty four years old when she started racing, and my sister my sister was number sixty five. 
Not because she was 65 <laughs> when she started, probably closer to 65 days than 65. Um, but uh, she was the one who really wanted to race in the first place. Yeah. And I just didn't want to get left out because I'm the sister. And I was like, yeah, I'll do it too. Um, but she, uh, we would go to races on Sunday nights and dirt races. And the car that my dad worked on was number 65. So she wanted to be number 65 oh, as well. Great. And she was the one who wanted to race. That. So. Do, you, do you talk to a lot of young girls who want to do what you do? Do you see more and more every year? I do. I do. And, um, you know, my answer then, to them usually when they say that they want to grow up and be like me is I said, that's great, but you should want to grow up and be better than me. I mean, that's oh, that's the that? goal, right? I mean, I, I don't want you to because I want to do great. And, right. um, you know, you want your goal, you want your achievements to be be difficult and right. be hard to do. But I think that should be the mentality is to always want to be better, you know. And, um, and uh, I feel like that's what I wanted and that's what's helped me get to where I am today. Um, so, you know, you definitely, there are a lot more women involved and there are a lot more kids. I feel like kids sure. have been something that over the last few years has been a, such a big, big growing fan base for me. And um, it's, it's very cool. I love to take time for them. They're so innocent and they're so, you know, they don't care how my day has been going. I could have qualified last. I could have finished last. I could have crashed. And they're like so excited to meet you. And I don't want to disappoint them. And so even if I don't have time to, to sign anything, sometimes I'll just stop and say, I only have time for the kids. And, um, you know, they, the impression lasts forever. And I don't want the, yeah. to be their, you know, be, be their hero and have them, um, well, not think I'm a hero anymore. That's nice. Yeah. I think yeah. the adults understand that, too. They don't have the reasoning that the adults do That's for right. she's busy. So no, I, I take that into yeah. consideration. Well, when people say, well, you know, you're not necessarily a role model just because you play sports. And we hear about athletes who end up, you know, uh, on the wrong side of the law or getting in trouble or not making the best steps. So nobody's perfect. Right. Um, but a lot of people put that role model title on them. Do you feel as though that's something you have a choice in or because of what you do, you ultimately have this responsibility for the kids? I don't think you have a full choice in it, um, because if you're on TV, somebody could choose to like you, want to be like you, um, think you're a role model for them. Um, so I don't think that you have a choice, but you probably have a choice as to how far it goes and how much you put yourself out there. And the more you put yourself out there, I feel like the more responsibility you have to um, be a good example and be a good role model and be a good person. At the end of the day, just be a good person. Yeah, bottom line. <laughs> right? I mean, some of the things that people get in sure. trouble for, it's not, you know, it's just, just be just be a good human being. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. And, As Dr. Laura you know, says. Do the right thing and, and, um, and uh, respect yourself and others and, um, you know, everyone makes mistakes along the way here and there, but I think if the, the goal is to be a good person, that it should keep you out of trouble. You're a good person, similar. and you're yeah. a role model, and oh, you're a perfect house. 10, and now oh, we know why you have that number. <laughs> Thank and we, you, that's right. We hope you win in Martins, uh, Martinsburg, Virginia. Martinsville, that's right. Yeah, me too. Right. I, um, I, uh, I hope I do with all those names on the car. It will make yes. it extra, extra special. And um, wouldn't it be funny? I've always tried to stay away from pink in my world because I didn't want it to be so obvious <laughs> oh, that I was uh, a girl up. in racing. Yeah. But wouldn't it be amazing if I won the race with a pink car? Oh, I'd love it. <laughs> we're rooting for you. And with all those names on it, all those women right. would come right with you. Right. That is yeah. exceptional. Danica Patrick, one of a kind. Good luck. Danica, thanks. Thank you. Good to see you guys. See you tomorrow, everybody.